Right, I'm at Balsham Church. They've extended the children's play area, I've noticed, since I was here last. I didn't realise how narrow the little road was either that I'd come down. Um, I think this is much bigger, this vehicle, than the ones I had before. So there it is. This is where the Hassels, Isaacsons, um, <coughs> are known to hang out in the past, 500 years ago. Um, all been done recorded before, of course. All recorded before, but I haven't done it by video before. So, let's just do a quick scan around the back a minute. wants a doorway there. I've done all these graves before. They've all been recorded. I've taken photographs and done audio. I'm just doing a brief video because um, I haven't got a lot of time up here now. This must be the third or fourth time I've been back since I first found them. I don't know if I had them. I found this place with Zara or not. I don't feel as if I've been here with Zara. Here's the wibbly wobbly graves that people are very interested in and they've got a lot of history attached to them with the hassles and um, somebody that married into another family. Of course I can't remember anything now but um, these are very 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 old graves often reused um, and there's a father-in-law tied up with the Hassels who was I don't know if he was murdered or whether his grave was desecrated something happened anyway but there was all to do with the family of love and then round this way um, <coughs> you've got Ives that married Isaacson's you see down there there's the name Isaacson All this is recorded, but I'm just actually videoing again. These are other Isaacsons as well. Here we got um, Stephen Isaacson. He is related. There's the name Isaacson there, and Stephen. We've got Robert Ives here. And um, that's all I've got all that written down anyway. Prince Graves. That's really all I've come here to do, really, is this bit. And the wibbly wobbly graves. Yeah, I've been here before. It was all very exciting in the first time I came here. Um, I think I'm, I should have gone home and then come back here, but of course it's some um, petrol and everything like that. I've been on a long trip and now I'm finding it really hard to keep the energy levels going more than anything. I need to go home and unwind a bit. I 
That's either the church or the school. Yeah, so there will be other people in here. I don't know if it'll be open. But there's the wibbly wobbly graves again. Yeah, I first came here in 2006. Eight years ago. And I came back again and I came back again. In 2008 and 2010. Now again, in 2014, they haven't moved. They look exactly the same, and they'll probably be here long after I'm gone. They've already been here hundreds of years, so ancient graves, often of priests or people of importance. But they would often put other people in there as well. I'm just trying to think of the name of the bloke. He married, um, his daughter married a house, John Hassel, um, brother of Richard. Um, it's all, and it's all recorded in history about the things that went on. There's a lot of um, mysteries went on here. Oh, they've patched. I suppose that was that. I expect that was boarded up before like that. It does look quite recent though with that concrete, doesn't it? That. Saves on cost, so I'm not going to go all around the graveyard. It's got a very unusual font with a very large wooden cover that comes down from the ceiling in here. I don't know if it'd be open. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Look at this big door. Massive, isn't it? I always remember those red rosette things in the ceiling. Yeah, there it is. Great big font cover. Well, first time I'd seen one so big was in here. And some of the hassles were baptised here. Some of ours. Uh, there's nothing to stop you going up them steps, you know. If you wanted to get a better view. But I'm not going to. Yeah, there's the big model of the church. I think, is it? No, this is Eli Cathedral. Yeah. I 
working to the clock by the look of it. I can't really remember much about it. This is a bit this bit all looks new though, doesn't it? Or old, I don't mean to. Ah, oh, there's the church there. They've even got a picture of the um, wibbly wobbly graves in the back, look. The back of the church. Got the wibbly wobbly graves in there. The Isaacs and graves. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? They're well recorded in history. They were excavated once. Oh, that's a pretty little thing, isn't it? I said it's... I didn't... I don't think it was open. I don't think I've been in for quite a long time. This little... private bit. I don't think I've been in for a long time, actually. I think it was shut last time I came. I wonder why that's shut. Might be alarmed. These lovely carved wooden pews look. I'm not really sure why you're not allowed. Maybe they have to keep it dark. Rippings in the air, look. So massive, eh? Might just be some bishop or other. Yeah, I don't really know why it's all covered up. Not quite sure who these people are. Big brass rubbings. He looks stern, doesn't he? Coats of arms. As well. Big dark furniture. Holy Trinity Balsam. Gold. Gold winged. Angels at the altar, both sides. Big window.
This is Sheila, 6th of June 2014, visiting Bolton Church. I know I haven't, I can't remember any of this at all. It might have been sealed before. Very musky. I don't know if they struggle to maintain this one, I'm not sure. really has got a fine font cover, beautifully carved, and I've got information about this somewhere as well. Very large um, place for reading the sermons. I can't remember what you call it. Pulpit. That's right. <gasps> oh dear, memory's going. Memory's going, isn't it? Ah. There probably would have been more stained glass windows, like a lot of churches that I do, that have been puritanized. Yes, it's not got the tender loving, well it's being cared for, but there's little tiny touches aren't there. Maybe up in the children's area they are. They've got their bins in there. Strange. Can't see any mention of any hassles or anything. Thomas Sutton Esquire, founder of Charter House. Simmons, a bloke called Simmons and Woolaston, they seem to be of relevance. 